Hi everybody, I'm Margaret Lewin with Margaret Lewin Quilting and today I want to show you how I go about putting my binding on my quilt. I have a tutorial that shows you how I make the binding and how I attach it to the quilt. Well this time I want to show you how I go about sewing it down on the back of the quilt. So I'm going to change the angle of the camera up so that you can see exactly what it is that I'm doing. First, I'm going to show you my little sewing box that sits next to me in the living room. And I quite often at night will sit and do the handwork that I need to do, especially bindings. And I do have a quilt that I'm working on the binding, so I'm going to show you how I go about attaching it. First thing I wanted to show you is the needles that I sew with most of the time. They are, and I hope you can make out the writing, they're Jenna Kimball's Foxglove Cottage Needles. I'm using the Embroidery Redwork ones, and the ones I'm using is a size 9. I do like a long needle to work with, and I really like her needles. The other thing that's in here is three spools of thread, a white, a gray, a real light gray that almost looks silver, and um, an off-white. These are all Aurifil threads, and Aurifil is, quite honestly, the only thread that I like to use on my sewing machine. There are times where I absolutely have to use something else, but Aurifil is my dream thread. I have my thimble, which is made by Thimbles to Fit. You can see it. Um, it's extremely comfortable. I wear it with no issues. I've got some of my binder clips lined up on the edge, a little bit of lip gloss, and a nail file, and a poker that I use sometimes. It's also a, a nail, something to do with nails, but I actually use it for sewing. So that's what's in here. I'm going to set that aside, and I will bring the quilt in that we're going to work on. So this is the quilt I'm binding. Um, I've had pictures of it up, so I think... Um, quite a few people have seen it. If not, go on to um, Instagram or my Facebook page and you can see pictures of it there. I have sewn the binding down. This is the sleeve to hang it by. And I attach that later. I just hand stitch it down. So what I'm going to do first is show you how I prep my piece to get ready to, to hand stitch the binding down. I've attached the binding. I did use cream or fill thread. I think you can see it. And um, it really didn't matter what color thread I used because it was going to be buried in the binding. So you wouldn't see it. This is just straight binding. It is not bias binding. But I'm going to take and I opened it up. And I'm just going to take and roll it over. And it pretty much matches my sewn seam. If it didn't, I would... Um, trim this back, my salvage here, but it matches just fine. So I'm going to roll it over. I'm going to put a clip back here, and then I'm going to put another binder clip up here. Okay. These binder clips are wonderful. You can see that I have trimmed the point off my corner, and I'm going to take, I'm laying it flat, taking a look at my front side to make sure that I have somewhat of a point, and I know it's going to be hard for you to see it because it's on black, but um, the big thing is I want to show you how I do my hand stitching so that even though I'm using an off-white thread on black fabric, you're not going to be able to see my stitches. So I take it and I lay it right straight out, keeping it just this side of the stitch line where I attach the binding. I'm going to put another clip on. I'm going to turn it just a little bit, and I'm going to go back farther. You see, I've got this all open here. I'm going to start clipping it back here a little ways. I'm going to do a couple clips. And then once I've done those couple clips, I can move this one back a little bit. Now I can start playing with my corner to make sure that I get it all laying properly. So this side my fabric goes towards my left. There's l less fabric towards the right. So I've got more fabric on this towards the left. 
So I want my fabric from this side that we're working on to be towards the right. So that what will happen is these two pieces will nestle together to create less bulk. So I'm going to take it up, take it all the way to the edge. You can see I kind of grab my corner and then I bring it back and I'm laying them down flat to see how well they match. I'm going to bring it closer to you so you can see what I've done. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. See what I've done? I've just brought those two edges together. Now I'm going to clip those. And on those, I just get that clip over it to hold it. I can still see my corners, but I just get the clip over that to hold it. So now I am ready to stitch. I'm going to take my thread. I've got, oh, about an 18-inch piece of thread. And yes, it's off-white, but that's okay. I'm going to take and fold back my binding and see in this salvage area, I'm just going to do a couple of stitches. I'll do one stitch and then I'm going to go back under and catching that thread between um, my needle and the front of the fabric or the, the backing fabric. And what that does is that just secures it really tight. I'm now going to take my needle and I want to come up with my needle right on the edge of my binding. Where the fold is, that's where I want to come up. So I'm going to bring my needle through and I can feel it in one, just between one layer. And you can see, here comes my, whoop, here comes my needle out. And now push it through. And I am now ready for my very first stitch. To make my stitches, you can see I've got my thread coming out right here at the side. Right here. I'm going to take my needle and see if I ran it horizontally. i got an extra thread. If I ran it right at the tip of the thread, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to take my needle, I'm going to run it right towards the tip where the thread came out of the side of the binding. And then I'm going to take my the head of my needle and I'm just going to turn it in just a little bit. Okay? Because what I'm looking to do, if I can turn this over for you so you can see, what I'm looking to do, here's my thread, I'm coming in, I want to come in right at the edge of where this binding was sewn down. I want to take the head, the point of the needle in and then I'm just going to kind of wiggle it a little bit and then I'm going to bring it up. When I bring it up, what I'm doing is I'm going to bring it through the first layer of the binding fabric but not the second layer. And I'm going to bring it out on the very edge of that binding. And I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to do that again. Here's my thread coming out of the edge of the binding. I'm going to take my needle. Here it is straight. I'm going to turn it just a little bit. When I do, I'm going to take it through the... You can see here what I'm doing again is just weaving the needle through the fabric. And now I'm going to bring the needle out at the corner or at the side of the folded bias or the folded binding. So here, here it comes. And what happens when you pull the thread through is it actually rolls that binding right over your stitches so that they're invisible. And here again I'm taking the needle just going just under the binding so that you're not going to be able to see the thread. I'm weaving it a little bit. Now I'm going to bring it right out at this edge of the binding.
And as you can see, sometimes it takes a little bit of a um, couple tries to get it right on the edge where you want it. There's another stitch and you still can't see the white thread. And do that again. And I'm just going to keep going like that all the way up to the corner. Now, my left hand is my finger, my pointy, my big, my long finger is whichever finger it's called. I get it. It's red again. My finger is laying right against the back here so that I can feel there. Sorry. My finger's lying right against the back here so that I can feel if my needle has poked through or not. Because what I'll do is I'll poke my finger. So here we go with another stitch. Oops, sorry. Get back in there. And then I come out. Okay, I'm going to do this all the way up to the corner. So now if anybody ever tells you you can't sew binding with a contrasting thread, tell them that you can because you've seen it happen. And the only thing that this takes is practice doing. And believe me, once you've sewn, hand sewn a few bindings down, you, you'll be a champ at it. It won't take any more practice and you'll have it because it, it really is not difficult. It, it's time consuming is what it is. But if you sit there at night watching TV or YouTube, YouTube's perfect for it, you can um, get them done in no time. So now I'm at the corner. I'm gonna take my fabric, my binding, and I'm pushing it out straight because what I wanna do is I wanna sew by hand beyond the line of sewing that attached the binding to the quilt. So I want to sew right up to about here. So I'm going to keep going. Up I go. Probably one, maybe two more stitches. One more will do it. So here I am, coming up. See how nice that is? One more. Then I'm on the other side. All right, so now I've gone just beyond my corner. You could go farther if you wanted to, but really that's all I need to go. Now I'm gonna take my needle and I'm gonna go down and I'm actually going to go a little bit backwards. I want to make sure I've got you in the field of view here. I went too far. So you can see what I've done is I've gone backwards just a little bit. And I'm checking to see. And here you can see my needle. So I've got to take it out and do it again. It's important when you get to a point that's a little bit tough to get it through to make sure that you fold your fabric back and see if um, you have gone through. So here I am going back and again just like every other time I'm coming out right on the edge. So I'm going to pull my needle through now I'm folding my fabric going to bring it back and now you can see my point. That's my corner so now this is probably the trickiest part of the whole now that i've got my two sides together i'm going to take my needle down again just like i was sewing my regular i'm going to go down i'm going to come up again right through the edge just like you did before but this time i'm also going to catch the edge this is the piece that you have to be careful with. I'm going to also catch the edge of the cross piece. All 
All right, now you can see I've got both my pieces. I'm going to turn my quilt so that I'm stitching straight. And now I'm going to keep right on sewing. Take my needle down just inside where I came up on the edge. I'm going to go through those layers. Then come back up, just grabbing the coming out the edge of the binding again. And then I'm going to pull. And now here I go. I've turned my corner. And I am stitching away. You get to the point that you really can feel where you're, whoop, you get to the point where you can really feel where your needle is through the fabric. And it, it really doesn't take much to get to that stage. And up I go. Now this is a pretty big quilt. So this one's going to take me probably two or three nights to sew. But there you go. There's your corner. Here's my corner there. Hi. I hope that my little, and I hope it's pretty short, tutorial on how I attach binding to a quilt helps you. Um, again, this is the way I do it by hand. Some people do it by machine. That's just not something that I've been comfortable with. I haven't done it enough to get to the point that I'm really comfortable with it. So I tend to do it by hand. And like I said before, it's something that I sit at night um, with my husband and he'll watch something on TV and I'll sit and, and get some binding done on some quilts. So that's what this tutorial was all about and I hope you enjoyed it. If you um, like this video and would like to see more, please do give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to me. And thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.